everyone, it's Miss Liz. Welcome to Camp STEAM. Today we're going to talk about uh, what STEAM means, and that is the S is for science, T for technology, E for engineering, A for art, and M for math. So our project for today is going to be under the art category. We are going to be doing some painting. A couple of things that you need to gather ahead of time is some coffee. I'm using instant coffee, but you can use regular coffee. A cup, a spoon, some paintbrushes, a paper towel or two just in case we make a mess, and some watercolor paper. So let me show you what I've made ahead of time. Some cactus paintings. Yes, this is made from coffee. So here's one. There's a couple different versions. And another one in a pot. So I think today, uh, for the sake of ease, we are going to create one of these and I'm going to help you step by step through the process. We have our watercolor paper and our pencil. We're going to draw out our cactus. Every cactus looks different, just like every artist makes their project a little bit different. So let's start out towards the bottom of the page, but not all the way down, and we're going to just draw the base of this cactus. I'm drawing a little bit um, darker so you can see it, but you could do it a little bit lighter if you want so it doesn't show through when you're doing your painting. All right, so then we're going to go up to the side and around, the other side and up, and then kind of match up with this line here and do the top part like that, and then swing around up. That one turned out a little skinny, but that's okay, right? Everyone is different. There we go. Let's draw a little pot here at the bottom. So you're going to start a little bit up from the bottom and just kind of swing around to make the top of your pot. And then a little bit in from the edge and go down. And I'm going to make mine end off the page. So here we go. Next thing, we're going to take our cup and our coffee. And since I said earlier I'm using this instant coffee, I'm just going to put a spoonful in the cup. And I've got some hot water here. And I'm going to add some. You don't need to add too much. Give it a stir. all the little coffee grounds are melted that way you don't have them on your painting so I have a little scrap piece of paper here that I was practicing on so I'm just going to take some of this coffee and see how dark it comes out well, see that looks pretty nice so you could practice a little bit on an extra piece of paper. So a couple tips. Sometimes you might get a little bit too much liquid on your project. You can either take a dry brush and, and it kind of picks it up and spreads it out. Or if you get too much on there, you can just dab it with a piece of paper towel. I do find when you use a paper towel with this uh, technique, sometimes it leaves a nice little um, texture on there. So you can practice that if you like before you start your cactus. All right. So here we go. And the more that you spread this out, the quicker it will dry. 
this is one of those art projects where you have to be patient because you're going to want to put some shading on there and you're going to have some parts of your cactus are going to be darker and some are going to be lighter. So you have to be patient and let it dry a little bit before you add another layer. actually darker than I thought it was going to be. If you make your uh, coffee and you decide that it's too dark, you can actually add a little bit of water to it and lighten it up, but I don't think you'll have to do that. So I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to let you uh, fill in your cactus. I'm going to let mine dry and then I'll check back in a second. How's yours looking? I'm sure it looks great. So it seems to be like it's starting to dry a little bit, so I'm going to start adding a little bit of shading. So on this one, I'm going to do my shading on the left sides of the cactus. You can do yours on the left or the right. You can uh, Kind of move your paintbrush a little bit so it's not a, a direct straight line. And you see how I'm adding this layer and it makes it darker. There we go. that one there I have a little bit too much so I'm just going to kind of drag it down spread it out I'm going to trace this pot like this one and then I'm going to try to make some of the little needles that the cactuses have and that's going to have a little bit more paint or coffee on it but we're just going to have to try to do our best and you know dab it a little bit if it's too much and we'll just keep going over it maybe three or four times till we get the look that we want. So once again, here is a sample of one that I made before. So you can see the shading that you need to put in and then all the little needles, some shading down here and then some texture for the pot. As you can tell, for the most part, it dries pretty quickly. I kind of turned around a little bit so it's easier for you to see. I just realized the way I'm filming it, it looks like it's upside down. So I would like to paint the background a little bit while the rest of it's drying to give it a little bit of uh, dimension. This one, you can tell, is not stark white. It's uh, got a little bit of the coffee painted in the background. There you can see for comparison. So I'm going to take a chance and just stick it in my coffee and try to spread it out and see what happens. So it's a little bit uh, darker than I thought I would. So I'm going to put it in a little bit of plain water and just see if I can spread it out that way. works a little bit. And you can 
go in any direction, especially if you're going to thin it out and spread it around, you're not going to be able to see too much in the beginning of which, which way we're going. I'm just using plain water right now, trying to spread this out. And that's okay if you have some dark spots too. That's going to help give it the dimension. We can go back and we can add a little bit more from the coffee and fill it in. Don't forget, you can just, whoops, I dropped a bit, see, I can just spread it out or dab it with my paper towel. And then you can add a little bit more. You can work on this as long as you like. Just keep letting it dry and add new layers. And that's how you make your beautiful cactus. I would love to see how your paintings turn out, so please feel free to post them in the comments section. Have you joined up for the Summer Learning Challenge? Sign up today for Dig Deeper, Read, Investigate, and Discover. The challenge is going on now through July 25th. You can sign up online at www.newlenoxlibrary.org summer.